The idea for YouTube Show and Tell now and going into the future is a resource for creativity on the internet. It's a place where agencies and brands can show off their best work and have an open sort of discourse in the same way that YouTube and the internet has made the ads a, a more social experience. So far it's been really great and I think it's, it's going to stick around for a long time and it's going to be really amazing. Increasingly YouTube has become a really interesting kind of active medium in which you can be a lot more experimental, a less rule bound than with a lot of traditional media. The main heartbeat of YouTube is about authenticity and people's personal videos. I think the genuinely fantastical moments are still the things that have great charm and, and, and amazement, but unfortunately those things often happen and can't be created. We have clients that say, oh, we want to have a brand channel on YouTube. Well, that's great. Brand channels are, are great on YouTube, but why do you want to have one? And not until you can really understand the answer to the why, I think do you make a decision um, as to which, you know, which strategy to follow. My advice to any brand or agency is be entertaining, be of value to me on YouTube. Do not be a hindrance. I think my industry is thinking very conventionally about YouTube. I think there's a real opportunity for YouTube to help lead and reinvent the way my industry thinks. It's really a shame that a lot of advertisers don't even realize that YouTube is a social platform. And it's one where people can actually get feedback from users and understand what messages are working and what aren't. I like YouTube because before we could never tell how many people were watching a commercial. Now when you actually can see people are liking it and the not feedback. Just, yeah, not just the amount of views, but also there's, you know, there's thousands of comments We love reading the feedback. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it can make you angry, sometimes you can be happy, but usually it's pretty entertaining. The scariest thing about creating things for, for social channels like YouTube, for me, is getting it right. Because what it does is it really asks the consumer, the viewer, whatever, to, to be a part of your idea. If you've got the ability to have constant connection and you've got the ability to have your brand site, your homepage site be the place where you've got the constant message and then you've got your social media space where you can have your broad message that goes on and on and on and focuses on the things right now and really present the conversation but also the personality. The thing is that YouTube is so, in, is so huge in terms of usage for people that uh, you would be crazy and insane not using it as an advertiser.